Okay. Can I have a cooking? Yes. Okay. Still didn't go back on the edges. The mirror, right? Mm-hmm. Can I turn it to his battle spot? Mm. Yay! <laughs> it's all worth it, right? Is it though? Yes. Yes. We gotta Hey guys. So. We're babbling, sorry. Uh, so we are here doing video together. I have a special guest here. What's up, y'all? I know you guys are like, why is he here? <laughs> Didn't you just do a video that you guys broke up? Yeah. And yes, yeah. we are still broken up. <laughs> so, are, you, are you doing special effects? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just... Um... But he'll get into detail about mm -hmm. what this video is going to be about. Um, but first, we're going to do some housekeeping. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Also, um, check out my earring line that came out last month. Um, the link for that will be down in the description box as well. And I still have these available. I still have like a few little pair of these available and some other ones. So go check it out. And what else? Um, soap, shea butter. Oh, the soaps and the shea butters are coming soon. I'm not going to give a date yet. When, I'm, when they're ready, I'll let you know. But definitely um, check out. Um, actually, follow me on Instagram. I will probably post it on there first. So follow me on Instagram to know when that is live as well for you guys to um, pick up. The link to well. Instagram is down too? Yeah, link to my Instagram is down below. Um, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. It's always down in the description box. And yeah, so let's get into the, the, the plan of this video and why we are here. So I saw the first video she put um, about the breakup and um, I thought it was interesting. Uh, I expected one thing, but I got another thing. It was a, it was a pleasant video. Um, I thought she uh, was pretty thorough without going into too much detail and I just threw the idea by her like would it be cool for us to do a post breakup video from her perspective and mine too what we got out of it what we learned um, how we co-parent which will probably come in another video that will so, come in another video but we just kind of wanted to put our heads together and let you guys know that we're still really good friends and um, everything's cool you know what I mean we're not together anymore but that's it, right? So what I did is we actually filmed this video before, but there was some mm -hmm. audio issues. Um, so what I did was kind of took the questions that we asked in that video, and we're gonna pretty much ask them in this video, um, and hopefully it comes out good, so we don't have to record it again. Mm -hmm. So um, I have all of the questions. I'm, I'll let him ask some mm -hmm. or whatever. I just kind of mm -hmm. had them in order as which we asked in the original video that we tried to film. Um, or, yeah, they're pretty much in the same order. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'll start with my question because mine was kind of like the spin off, I guess, to my last video. Mm -hmm. Um, so just to give you guys a heads up, like when I filmed that video, Fernando didn't know that I was filming that video. Mm -hmm. I kind of did it on my own. Um, I wasn't planning on doing the video, at least not this year. I knew I was going to do a video at some point, but I didn't plan on doing it, uh, this year, um, for whatever reason, but... I was kind of like watching my comments over my past couple of videos and I realized that a lot of you didn't realize we weren't together and um, I figured I might as well put it out there because that is the current situation. Mm -hmm. So my first question was what did you think about my last video? Um, well like I said I thought the video was very tasteful. I thought it was thorough. I don't think it like it, it, it was it was negative only for obvious reasons, right? It wasn't any more negative than it should have been. Rather, uh, meaning like, it was negative because of the breakup. Water. It was negative just based on the breakup, right? But other than that, I feel like she touched on a couple good points. Um, how she felt uh, because of past situations and um, 
how she's feeling now. So I thought it was interesting. Uh, I know going into it, like I'm telling you, I know going into the video, I know what I thought it was going to be, and it wasn't that. Like, I, I completely thought it was going to be negative, and it wasn't that at all. All right? So mm -hmm. that was cool. And like I said, once I saw the video, <clears throat> I just thought it would be interesting mm -hmm. if we did something where you guys heard from me too. So that was that. Okay. That wasn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah. You want to do that one? Okay. So, okay, one of the first questions we we asked each other was, what did we learn about each other? Each other. Mm -hmm. During a breakup. Like, after meeting ourselves, breakup. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what did we learn about ourselves after after the breakup? Yeah. Okay. You want me to go? Mm hmm. Um,. So after, I think a lot of stuff that I learned was kind of happened before the breakup. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if like, I feel like women do this. Um, like we kind of break up with you long before we actually break up. Mm -hmm. um, so I was already in a certain mindset by the time that had happened. Um, but I felt like for me, I learned, I think... Uh, that was just, I don't want to say a lot stronger than I am, but like I guess that would be the way to describe it. Yeah. Um, just like a lot stronger than I am. I think when you get into a relationship and you're with someone for a really long time, you kind of um, adapt. And especially like as the woman, I feel like we're more adaptable, we're more adjustable. We kind of adjust to situations more than men. Like, I feel like men are just like, they're not as bendable as we are. So I feel like we kind of conform so a I, lot. Okay, so I think we're bendable and pliable through necessity, right? So like, we yes. don't take initiative, or we're not proactive in that department. We're more reactive. Like, we'll yes. react in a pliable way if we need to, right? Yes. But we're not really assertive in that way. Yeah. I, I'll agree to that extent, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I feel like I conform. Not, not conform, is that like a word? Conform, like... You, you kind of went along, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't... Like, not even went along, because it wasn't like I didn't want to be in a relationship. But, but at, some, at, things, at some point, there was like a, a change where like, I just went... Like, I was just going through the motions. That there get to that point where mm -hmm. I was kind of just going through the motions. So I feel like I learned that I was a lot stronger than I was and I feel like I'm a lot stronger mentally than I let on. I knew that I was. I just wasn't using it once I got to a certain point in the relationship um, just because I was kind of going through the motions. Um, so I feel like that's what I kind of learned about myself. Um, not so much after the breakup but like, like I said that and I kind of went through this in my last video, like that last um, year of us being together, that's when I kind of, um, I guess, relearned that or brought that part to the forefront as opposed to just going through the motions. I feel like I used my mental strength a lot better over the past year. Okay. If that makes sense. Makes sense. So, okay, so about <laughs> myself, what I learned was that emotionally I'm not as prepared for certain things as I might have thought, right? So a situation that happened between me and her as far as the breakup, um, it hit me kind of hard. Not kind of hard. I'm not even going to downplay it. It hit me really hard, right? And um, I just never would have thought something, anything other than like a death or something like that would have affected me the way that this did. So to her point about like how she pretty much felt a certain way after, like I want to say maybe a year prior, right? Mm -hmm. a good point. Men out there that's looking at this video, try to be more aware because I wasn't aware, all right? Mm -hmm. This is a woman that I slept next to every night, right? I didn't see it. If anything, I thought something else was wrong. The, the last thing I thought was wrong with me. So I would say just a bullet point, be more aware. And that's what I've tried to do. Be more aware. Um, one thing that I did, and I think I might have went about this in the wrong way, uh, I think I became overly emotional, right? And when I say overly emotional, I don't mean crying every five minutes. I mean like trying to show her that she should take me back. So in doing that, I don't know if I might have pushed her away a little more. 
or it just might have been a little overwhelming because to her it's like well you really didn't act like this before so I don't know what, what and you gotta remember guys like me and Fernando weren't together for like two minutes like we were together for a very long time yeah. so yeah. I think on both of our ends there were a lot of personality traits that neither one of us had seen I think for me I was just more so like almost like like I feel like that kind of emotion was something so basic and so minute that for it to come out after the breakup it was kind of like so you already knew how to do mm-hmm. this but you couldn't do it through our relationship mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying it was just like that kind of feeling like that now you want to be that you know it was like that feeling and then at the same time it was like I don't know if it was genuine or or, or you know like <laughs> I don't want to say, like, abuse. But you know when guys, like, are abusive and then after they punch the woman in the face, they're like, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, he didn't I punch her in the face. To know, like, no. so <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, that... No. that <laughs> it's hard to slap you. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but, like, the like that reaction, like, I just want your forgiveness so you don't leave type mm-hmm. of thing. I felt like it was that, like in the beginning. It was either like. In the beginning, I did think it was a quick fix. I will say that. Yeah. That, Once it yeah. went on. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Yes. So, um, oh, and I realized that uh, I, about myself, I don't really have a middle ground when it comes to emotions, right? So it's either like I'm overly emotional or I'm, I don't really show too much emotion and I don't think either one of them are good so like me at 35 years old it's hard for me to try to find a balance but I need to right so that's one thing those are a couple things that I feel like I've learned about myself um I will say this uh I want to say it's I've learned to compartmentalize things or try to anyway now or now now right because before it was one thing will consume me, and I would neglect something else, whether it be you or, or um, or like anything else around the house. Like mm-hmm. me trying to pay the next bill will consume me. Me putting food in the refrigerator will consume me, right? Mm-hmm. So certain things would be lacking, <clears throat> and the priority was her. So that would be lacking as far as how I treated her, how I interacted with her. You know what I mean? And I just assumed that she understood. Right, which was the wrong way to go because at the end of the day, she is a human being with feelings, and she's supposed to be my significant other. So, I went about that the wrong way. So that's something that I tried to work on. But um, but like I said, the the one the one negative I would say is that I might have overshot trying to be emotional or trying to show after the breakup. Yeah, after the breakup, try to show that I have like yeah. See, look, I could be emotional. I could be caring and all that type of shit. Like I said, because not to say that I wasn't caring before. It was just, I was inconsistent. Like, I would show it, but did not, and then show it, and then not, and then show it, and not. And at the end of the day, who's going to deal with that shit for too long? And um, and we joke about this. Like, I probably should have went out the door a long time ago. So, <laughs> so. Like, if, if we were to think about it. Yeah, yeah. If we're being 100% honest with each other, based on things that's happened, she's pretty much... Like, when you ever watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I used all my lifelines with this one. You know what I mean? And, like, me trying to get back is hard because, well, Fernando, I gave you this chance and that chance and that chance and that chance. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if it's something that I want, I'm going to want another He's going to plead his case. I'm going to plead my case. Like, if I'm talking about right now, I'm going to plead my case. But for now, this is where we are, and that's probably that. That's it. So... Well. Who would you say put more effort into oh, the relationship? That was easy. She did, cause she was she was the glue, right? She was the glue that kept us together. And even um, friends would ask, "Yo, how you Renell doing?" And I would always say, "Like we're cool as long as I don't do nothing stupid." And it was it was I was saying it jokingly, but it, I was pretty serious. Like I've noticed that as long as I don't do anything silly, we're good. Cause she never did anything dumb, so so it pretty much was was me that would do like the the nonsense. The nonsense? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, like, with, what goes with that is, like, like it's not that he didn't put forth any effort, but it was, like, definitely, like, a 70-30. Mm, yeah. Not, not 60-40, maybe? I would say that's... I'm not going to say 50 It wasn't 50-50 at all. 35-65. <laughs> 
now we're pinching pennies here. No. <laughs> but I, I do, and I think when you have that much pressure on you to kind of keep, like, it's almost like, I watched, I don't know what show it was, and I don't even watch the show, I think it was Scandal, is that the one with, um, Okay, well, yeah, mm -hmm. but it was a scene like with her mom, and she was like, "Here's the black woman. Always has to be strong. Always has to help everybody. Always has to help everyone with their problems and their issues and their emotions." But who's helping you? Mm -hmm. So you have all of this weight of trying to carry your household to make it mm -hmm. stay together, mm -hmm. and the other person is kind of like like they're there, but they're mm -hmm. not there for you in the same way emotionally that. They're there for them. So then you have the weight of your own emotions, like, unless I'm seeing a therapist every couple of days, right. you know, and who has time for that when you got three-year-olds, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, the, it's like, if you're supposed to be my partner, I feel like the same emotional attention I'm giving you, I need that as well. Absolutely. Because there's a lot of pressure on, essentially, me to keep this together. Yeah. So... And like, and sometimes like, and I'm not one to like discuss my relationship with my friends because even when we broke up, a lot of my friends didn't even real like they were surprised like w w what happened like why did you guys break up so it wasn't like I ever bad talked him to my friends where they were like when we broke up they were like oh well damn it's about time once I told them everything that happened a lot of them were like you know oh well dang I'm surprised you stayed that long mm -hmm. so it wasn't like I was emoting on to like my friends and releasing it that so way so she had no real release yeah there was no release for me to to do that you and know what like, I mean and like just to piggyback off of her point so I want to say let's say a year ago maybe mm -hmm. I had a problem at work where I was like really stressed at work and like I would come home and I'll be upset and she would pretty much be the person that I put out everything to and this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened right now mind you I'm sure she's going through shit at her job too right mm -hmm. but she's taking in everything i'm giving her and i'm not really reciprocating that right right or it's like a situation you're, you're you you almost don't want to put the pressure now it's like i'm protecting putting the pressure that i'm feeling in my own situation so meaning like if she did want to say something to me she probably won't now yeah fernando's already gone through something so i don't want to add more mm -hmm. and then it you know what i mean so it was, it was just kind of like it was almost like there was there was never an opening for me to so, yeah. express myself because i felt like there was always something else going on yeah. with him where i felt like if i said something it would add a baggage or a worry or a something to him so now it's like okay well i can't tell him now because then it's just gonna get it's gonna get worse for him or it's gonna mm -hmm. feel worse for him type of thing so it's almost like you're trying to protect his yeah and i think i, I would like thing. to say that i think she tried to protect my feelings even up until the breakup right so i had thought about something i never told you this i feel like you already felt like you wanted to break up with me i want to say maybe december january a little before that. So okay, so so full disclaimer: my father passed away last Christmas, yeah. right? So my dad passed away. Yeah, if that, she, was, that was like, if she did want to say something, of course she's not going to say anything. My dad, my father just died, right? Yeah. So we're coming up on a year. My father passed away at Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing, right? She still took into account, hey, his father just died, so the yeah. last thing I want to do is probably tell him. Yeah, because honestly, that, that was probably, like, a moment that I had, like, before that ha actually, when everything started happening with your dad, when we were, like, kind of, like, waiting, mm -hmm. it was almost like, well, damn, like, now I can't really say anything now. now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then once he actually passed away, it was kind of like, well... I gotta wait for my next opportunity. <laughs> basically, yeah, the, yeah. And like I said, to her credit, she did take my feelings into account, and she didn't pile on. I, I, honestly, I want to say like around that that time. I think maybe when you guys and it was before December. It might have been like October or something. Mm -hmm. No, Thanksgiving. Remember we all we were all at the house for Thanksgiving last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably thought about it a little before that, and then when we went to see your dad, we didn't went go to see him, but he was that he was at yeah. the house, and um and we saw him. It was like almost like it's almost like you know when you see somebody, it's like yeah they about to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like I don't want to say it was a letdown, but it was just kind of like well now here's another thing where I kind of have to 
put my feelings aside. Fair enough, yeah. So it was like, even though, like, yes, I put the most effort in, but I also probably shouldn't have did that as well. Yeah. Like, I should have, um... Yeah, do. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're touching anything at all. I was trying to, like, make it so... I mean, okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so I feel like, like, and I, like, I, feel, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I also didn't, um, I guess I, I didn't express that, but then I didn't know how to express it without creating. Like, without piling on. Yeah. yeah. Without yeah. piling on on either our side. So I just carried the load, essentially, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, in a way. Oh, yeah. Say the question. Say I asked the last question. Okay. What did you learn about how to handle conflict? Mm -hmm. Let me ask first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I learned is don't ignore problems and assume they're going to go away. Don't do it. Don't stop talking about a problem until it's resolved, until there's some type of common ground, sometimes a happy medium, something. Because in the past, if something would happen, I would pretty much wait for her to forgive me. And then move on. Nothing was resolved. There was no change. No change. Nothing was resolved and nothing. It was just she wasn't mad at me anymore. And then we moved on. That's wrong. Right? So, what I learned is, and again, this... I don't even, even think that I wasn't mad anymore. It was just like... Kind of is what it is? No, it was just kind of like, well, it's not my responsibility to make so, it right. I didn't yes. make it wrong. Didn't so, like, what am I... I'm wait, I, it was almost like I was waiting for him. Like, even if we didn't talk about it, I was waiting for a change in... Behavior. Behavior. Yeah. And it, 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 at some point, it did become it is what it is, but I think it was just more so, like, the anything before that was just kind of like, well, what am I supposed to say? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Fair enough. And like I said, a lot of things that I figured out came after we broke up. Like, oh, shit, I was supposed to do this, this, and this, right? Mm -hmm. Now, granted, a side of me was like, damn, Fern, like, you could have just did this then. Now, another side of me was like, well, look, Renell, I'm figuring it out, right? Da, 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 da. But it might have been too little too late, right? That's how, that's how I started to look at it. And obviously, I got a little discouraged. But what was happened was it just wasn't received the right way anymore because according to her well for now we're not together anymore so i don't need you to do that right. i needed you to do that i don't need you to do it now yeah now i'm sitting there like but 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah like i said if whatever happens between us happens between us i'll know for future ref i mean i'll know for the future mm -hmm. um don't ignore problems because them shits will not yeah. go away that when I grow up. Yeah, it's, it's like up. weird. It's almost like, and I, I, don't, I don't think all guys do this, but I, I think it's a thing where it's like, well, if she didn't mention it, then she must not be mad about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 and that's very that's ignorant. Thing. Even though, even though they're like, it's almost like we would have an argument, and like literally the next day he would wake up and go about his day as if nothing happened. Nothing happened. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, what's nothing happened and I'm not one to like argue for days and all like I'm just not that person like I'm just like okay I, I noted you know like I'm that person and then I guess for me what I've learned about conflict is that is that I I hold on to a lot and then like when the moment hits for me to like explode like I'll explode on I'll explode on everything mm -hmm. um so I hold I hold a lot in um not so much to avoid conflict, but at the same time, I just don't have the energy. That's what it comes down to. Um, to so we all have, I told her, we all have real problems. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to add to those real problems with things that could just be avoidable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Again, mm -hmm. a lot of that self-reflection that I experienced came after. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Too little, too late, or, you know what I mean? At least, you know what I mean? I could look at it a bunch of ways, mm -hmm. but if you recognize it, which I did, um, it's good to kind of take heed to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do not ignore problems. It won't go away. It won't go away. Yeah. So. Can you? Yeah. I don't think I, yeah. I think you ignored them, but I think I was just... No, I, I yeah. did, because it was more or less like I knew I did something wrong, and, and my problem was I didn't know what to do to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. So I le legitimately just thought, Time will fix it. Yes. 
Yeah. It's wrong. <laughs> like, I understand and I, that. And I think, for me, what led to the breakup was, like, the very last incident that happened. Like, and I, I think I, I kind of touched on this in the, in the video. Like, at that point in my life, I just really didn't have time to probably explode as much as I actually wanted to. Right? So, it's like you're carrying... Like, okay, I know I need to go off about this, but I'm not going to right mm-hmm. now because I just can't because everything that's going on in my life and being pregnant and stuff like that, I just couldn't, um, I couldn't allow that to happen at mm-hmm. that moment. Mm-hmm. So it was like, like, you just imagine carrying something that you want to explode about for like two years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, you, you want to explode out, you need to explode about it. You haven't actually expressed your true feelings about it. And you're kind of holding on for that for two years. And then you finally get the feeling where you want to. Um, but then like we talked about earlier, the time never presented itself for you to do that. Basically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is probably going to be like part one of this because we're already at like the 25 minute walk. And I'm trying to keep these like 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so just, you know, this is going to be part one. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with part two in a second. So, be back for part two.